Welcome to another Treasures for Life ministry video. Today I'll be doing a health feature and what I want to talk to you about is doing certain things to assist your body in the healing process. Also some basic things that we can have at home that will help us to be healthy and to stay healthy and to help our loved ones but before i start talking about certain things i just want to remind us of the laws of health nutrition correct diet that is exercising daily drinking of water the proper way um taking enough sunshine having that trust in god taking enough fresh air daily um deep breaths of fresh air too, uh, resting at night and also remembering God's seventh day Sabbath rest as well, um, temperance, avoiding the things that are bad for you, doing the things that are, do, that are good for you in moderation, uh, having service to others, doing good for others, um, having cleanliness in your surrounding as well as on your body parts as well, in your body. Correct posture, correct voice culture, um, having an attitude of gratitude and dressing properly, especially covering the limbs and also not wearing tight fitting clothing. Don't wear those bras that have the irons in them. Um, don't wear those clothing that are not breathable, those spandex and plastic made clothes which are not healthy for us. So let us talk about some things that we should have at home or try to acquire and have our own little emergency or our own little medical kit at home so that we can do the things that need to be done to help ourselves to health as well as to help others who may need assistance. Now baking soda is a good thing to have at home, not to be taken internally, but to use externally to alkaline the body. And you can use a baking soda with warm water and lemon juice to make your baking soda wrap where the body is wrapped in baking soda that was added to warm water and also lemon juice added together. And you place towels in this water and you squeeze out the excess water and wrap the body. You can do a full baking soda wrap or partial baking soda wrap to where you wish to target. So the baking soda wrap is good to alkaline the body, to promote healing, to promote rest for the nerves, things like that. And it is a good, you can check videos on this YouTube channel and you will see where we show you how to do the baking soda wrap because you will need towels, garbage bag or a shower curtain, plastic shower curtain, uh, things like that to prevent the sheet from getting wet and you need sheets to also because you're going to be wrapping the person warmly in after you place the baking soda, lemon juice, warm water, wrong towel around the area. So, baking soda, lemon juice, Epsom salt, ordinary salt, and you can use the Epsom salt mixed with the ordinary table salt to do um, salt glows to help to purify the skin, cleanse the skin, detox. It's good for those who are suffering from diabetes. However, do not use a salt glow for those who are suffering from acute diseases diseases that just suddenly happens like um the corona disease stuff like that it's best to use them on lifestyle disease chronic diseases diseases that you have um because of how you eat and you think your lifestyle diseases your diabetes your hypertension things like that but do not use on acute diseases okay so you have um, things like your charcoal, which is good to remove poisons. It also helps with pain, stomach issues. You, there are so many benefits of the charcoal. 
you will need to have essential oils, your peppermint oil, eucalyptus oil, wintergreen oils, the cinnamon oils. The different different oils are good to have at home, so you can use them in the different different treatments. Uh, you will also need to have things like your onions, your garlics, your turmeric, your ginger. Make sure you always have a supply of these at home. Um, your carrots are also good. You make sure you have some clays, bentonite clays. Um, things like herbs that help to rebuild tissues like your heart steel, your bone set. Those herbs that also help to build your bones and papaya. Yeah, papaya is a good herb to have, especially the green one. So maybe you could even grate the green papaya and um, put it to dry and grind it out in powder so that you can use it because it's helpful to build bones and wounds. If you have wounds that are taking a long time to get better, placing the green papaya on, on the wound can also help. And it's also good for tumors. Um, get your moringa, dry the leaves and things, powder them out. You can dry the, have the seeds as well, because those can be stored for a while too. Um, your okras are good. The okra seeds are also good. They have healing properties. So garner stuff and put them up together so that you can use them to promote healing, to help others. Because we're going to need to have these things to help each other and to help ourselves for what is to come. Because Corona is not the only disease that will be coming. There are many more, that many more pestilences that will be coming. And we all have to know what to do to help in the crisis or crises that are just soon to break out upon us. And we see that the hospitals are being overpacked with sick people. And so it is in our best interest to learn how to do things to help ourselves and to help others. Because I cannot stress it enough. That's why you keep hearing me repeating. Helping ourselves to health and as well as to help others. Now I'm going to tell you a few things that you can do to help yourself in respiratory conditions. Hopefully soon I'll be able to do some videos doing hands-on where you will see how to make and to do all these different things. But for the time being, I hope that you will understand what I'm saying and it will be simple enough so that you can practice and make your own. So somebody's having breathing issues, difficulty breathing asthma or other respiratory diseases including corona etc what you can do for an emergency treatment is to pour some cold water ice water to the back uh, have the person bend over the neck and the neck is ex bend over the head and the neck is exposed and you pour some cold water slowly for a few minutes to the back of the neck and this will assist in allowing breathing to be more freer. You will also need to make warm tea. So you can do a ginger tea or a garlic tea or a thyme tea, things like that. And give the person to drink to continue to keep the air open. A facial steam where you boil some water and you add, uh, you add, Essential oils like your mental crystal, eucalyptus oil, a combination or one alone. You can also use um, other things like the wind, even the wintergreen oils and things. And you can even make your own little lung or chest um, decongestant ointment or rub by using the essential oils and mental crystal that you, are cr that you have crushed. And combine the essential oil, the mental crystals into some coconut or olive oil. And you use it to rub the area. How potent you want it, it's up to you. Some persons like it strong, some persons like it mild. And you can add some kind pepper to this as well as ginger powder to help in its potency. 
Another thing that you can do is add a therapy of 3 minutes hot, 30 seconds cold, 3 minutes hot, 30 seconds cold, 3 minutes hot, 30 seconds cold. What you simply do is to allow fresh blood to go in and out of an area. This is helpful with pain, it's helpful with lung congestion if you use over the chest area. And if you're using it for um, over the chest area for respiratory condition, the, the person will lay on a warm towel at the upper chest area, the chest area to the back. So they will stay on that warm towel through the entire process. And then to the front of the chest, someone will place a warm towel for three minutes on the area. Remove that warm towel and use a cold rag that was placed in ice water with ice. And for 30 seconds, you gently rub the chest area. Then you wipe the area, place back another warm towel for 3 minutes. Remove that, do the cold again with the cold rag, rubbing it for 30 seconds. Dry the area, then use the warm towel again. You can do this 3 to 7 changes. So go hot, cold, or warm, cold, 1. Warm, cold, 2. Warm, cold, 3. Warm, cold, 4. Up to 7 changes, right? So go each time you make the changes, you count from hot to cold, that's one. Hot to cold again, two, etc. Now this is helpful for respiratory conditions, for pain, to help circulation to be done in the body. But also be careful not to burn the person. And if a person has diabetes, they may have nerve damage and not be able to be good person to tell you how hot a thing is or how cold a, a thing is so it's not the best treatment for certain conditions and also if a person has heart condition or if they are troubled with heart palpitation the heart is beating fast what you could do when you're doing this treatment is to place a cold rug over the heart to slow down the heart or to keep the heart warm um cool sorry to keep the heart cool and calm so that it will not be overheated and flutter or palpitate even more onion under the bottom of the feet helps with fever and it helps with circulation and it also helps improve breathing He's also sniffing the onion having the onion close to your nose cutting onion placing it in the room will also help to detoxify the room to cleanse it um, it is a good thing to also place on the chest area to help with breathing and to clear the lungs. It's also, onion is also good to make teas for those who are suffering from lung issues as well. Um, ginger, ginger is very good inside and out and you can grate the ginger Place it on the lungs for lung issues to help with breathing, to help remove inflammation, to help clear the lungs. Pain, it is, there are so many wonderful benefits. Um, the green papaya can also be used. You can combine the green papaya with the ginger to help to repair bone cartilage as well as to help your bone issues. It helps with back pains, um, other pains as well as to repair those issues with the bones. Um, these can be also be taken internally, the ginger and the green papaya, to do a good work for the health of body and the bones, etc. Um, cayenne pepper placed on placed in some cayenne pepper placed in some castor oil placed on the bottom of the feet and you place a, place it on um, a napkin or a paper towel and you place plastic and cover with socks, put on socks. It will also help you to detox circulation, etc. Feeling cold, putting cayenne pepper in your socks can also help to warm you up as well as for circulation help to help you in the circulation arena. Um, there are so many things that you can do. I hope you are blessed. And thank you for watching another video of Treasure from Treasures for Life Ministry. Please share.